Distance is closing on this vessel's refueling track with the Covenant supercarrier. 76 seconds to enter. Damn it. So, it's gonna be like that. Well, I've got good news and bad news. This bird took some fire and I thrust the gimbal is toast, which means the only way off this slag heap is gravity. And the good news? That was the good news. At current velocity, 53 seconds to end Yeah, point. yeah, yeah. Bad news is, time is fried. I'm gonna have to fire it manually. That's a one-way trip. We all make it sooner or later. Better get going, Six. They're gonna need you down there. Listen. Reach has been good to me. Time has come to return the favor. Don't deny me this. Tell him to make it count. Three's current take on the Battle Pass system needs some adjustments, to say the least. This system is clearly built to make the grind for the items in the Battle Pass so mind-numbing that you will be more inclined to buy items, XP boosters, or challenge swaps. I think Halo Infinite is a very fun multiplayer game. This feels good. I like it. I like it a lot. It feels really good. I'm having a lot of fun, but I'm worried that if the Battle Pass system is not adjusted to a more consumer-friendly model, it will ruin the experience for most. Look, I understand that the multiplayer is free to play, but the items worth getting on the Battle Pass or not. We already have to pay for the Battle Pass, which is nine US dollars. On top of that, we have to play the game to unlock the item, obviously, because that's the point to have something to work towards and unlock while enjoying the excellent gameplay Halo has to offer. The problem with this is, the only way to level up currently is through challenges, which basically narrows down how you need to play. Instead of just playing the game how you want to play, which ironically is what 343 has been preaching nonstop about this game, now we have to complete these challenges that they have preset, which often involves playing game modes you don't want to or using guns you're not interested in. Or challenges that seem so difficult to complete that it's almost like they're only there so you need to use the challenge swaps, which lo and behold, you can buy for real world money. I know, surprise, right? This isn't acceptable in its current form in my opinion. Look, I know the multiplayer is free to play. I get it. They have to make that money back somewhere, but this current system just feels too heavy-handed in the wrong direction. It's too obvious what it's built to do currently, and that's the problem. People need to feel rewarded when they go 20-3 and three in a Slayer match. You know, that crazy concept of rewarding a player for doing good in a match instead of doing bad in a match and encouraging that player to get better at the game. Yeah, you know that thing. 343, I believe, can fix some of these problems before launch. They need to start by giving XP for in-game performance. They can also keep their challenge system as well, give extra points for completing challenges and points for just playing the matches. Better performances would obviously mean more points awarded to the player. This would also encourage players to give it their best in matches as well. This all boils down to finding a good balance where they can make money and the player is happy. All right, look, the simple fact is 343, I've already bought the Battle Pass. I paid $9 to have the right to unlock pretty much anything worth having in the Battle Pass, okay? I've, I've, already, I've already paid that money. So just let me play the game and earn what I've already paid for in a reasonable amount of time. I don't have time to play Halo multiplayer 40 hours a week and do specific challenges that you've set for something that I've already purchased. I understand that the battle pass doesn't run out. I get that. But the simple fact is, I only have so much time in the week 
most adults do. We only, we only get so much time. I'm sure there's plenty of people out there listening to this right now that would agree. There's only so much time in a day, in a week, to play a video game. There's nothing wrong with the grind, but the grind's too heavy right now. It needs to be adjusted. And my problem with the grind so far is that it's obvious why it's there and what it's for. It's to encourage the, to buy the XP boosters. It's to help encourage buy the challenge swaps as well. So I feel like I've said everything I wanted to say. So kind of to conclude this video, I think Halo multiplayer is awesome. I'm really enjoying the game and I get the feeling 343 will make necessary adjustments to the Battle Pass system. I don't think it will be to the extent that I would like to see, but I do believe they will make it acceptable. They have been very responsive to the community's feedback and concerns. It does in fact seem like they care how this Halo is received and that it reaches as many people as possible. 343 wants this game to be good and for the multiplayer to be played by many and for an extended period of time. So if enough people say no, no to this battle system, which has already happened, they know and can convince the business side of things, but we'll just have to wait and see. We as the initial beta multiplayer testers are the ones that we're having to deal with this right now. I really feel like 343 can get this situation ironed out. I feel like they can get it balanced to where it needs to be, or at least a little bit better, maybe not to where I would like it, but I feel like they can, you know, make some tweaks and adjustments to really um, fix this problem. To me, it's the only problem that Halo Infinite has right now that I've, you know, seen. Other than that, I've been enjoying the heck out of the game. I love playing it, but this definitely doesn't need to be worked out because it's just too obvious as to why it is the way it is, which basically boils down to money. So basically what I'm getting at is us as the beta testers, right? We're kind of the guinea pigs on this. We're probably not going to get to see these changes made. Could be wrong, but we're probably not going to see these changes made if they get made until the actual release of the game, which is whenever the most of their influx of players is going to come in. So we kind of took the hit on this one in that sense, but hopefully 343 will get this straightened out before the main campaign comes out and the rest of Halo fans and new Halo fans coming in to play the game can really enjoy the game and we can have this little issue sorted out. But whether they do that or not, we'll just have to wait and see. That's going to be it for me, guys. I'll see you on the next one. And remember, tell them to make it count.